What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, it is your boy, Mr. Headquarters, and I want to thank you right now for stopping by and checking out the channel. And if you like what you see, make sure you go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this video and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos yet to come for this year as we wait on the next Call of Duty to drop. Unfortunately, this video right here, I was not able to put the audio in because I streamed it on Twitch. Yes, I said Twitch. So if you are not following me on Twitch, go ahead and check me out there. I tend to stream a lot there, and when I do, I tend to jam out and hang out and just try to have a whole lot of fun. And unfortunately, some of the audio in the background was copyrighted, so therefore, I can't take a uh, copyright strike over here on YouTube. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and just do a live commentary over this and go over what I see. Uh, I could have got the nuclear man, spoiler alert, I do go 30 and 0 on this map. And I was trying to grind out to get diamond camo on my assault rifles. And I was playing a little slow trying to get my long shots because I really needed long shots to get uh, diamond ARs. And so I'm just sitting here grinding out on this. As you see, I'm sitting at this point pivot waiting on somebody to come and pick me over on the B site. And had I known, man, that this game was going to go like it was, I'd have played more aggressive and went ahead and dropped my first nuclear here in Black Ops 4. But, I mean, I went 30-0, and and I wish that it could have, you know, score streaks would have contributed to that because I would have got the nuclear. I don't know why they do not because it does not end the game, so why not go ahead and let specialists or your score streaks or whatever come into the effect of giving you a nuclear. But today, guys, I just want to do a quick video and kind of give you what tips and tricks to use to make you better Call of Duty and what helped me and uh, here recently I've really been paying a whole lot of attention to my map I know a lot of people say always take a time and look at your map and run that UAV and after I've been able to just actually take a look at the map and not just look at the map and see red dots but actually read the red dots and try to pinpoint exactly where these guys are on the map that way I can go ahead and pre-fire or be ready once they're coming I know okay that spot on that map right there is this rock. I know they're coming around that rock. I'm getting ready. I'm ADS, waiting on that guy to come. And I'm telling you, it brought my KD up to a 4.0. I'm always, you know, I'm always at least around a 3 to a 4 here lately whenever I'm using that tactic and we always got a UAV up. But once again, if you're playing against sweats and good players, it's really hard to, you know, try to keep that KD high because, I mean, everybody's grinding out and just harder, sweatier players. And then you're getting them 2v1 situations and sometimes people run ghosts and it takes them off the UAV. So minimap is to me the key to getting a high KD and actually getting off on your streaks. Uh, I do not run ComSec device anymore due to the fact of I like my stem shot because I do play aggressive. And when I'm running stem shot, I try to find myself in predicaments where I'm trying to heal real quick. So like in a couple of seconds, I can go ahead and reheal, get back into the fight or stay alive. When I'm running ComSec devices, trying to get my streaks, it just seems like every now and then I'm trying to run and hide and wait on that bar to come up so I can heal and re-engage. And I end up dying more times than none trying to run away from somebody and hide whenever I'm running stem shot. Boom. So, I mean, I'm getting more streaks running stem shot than I am comsec device just for the fact that I can re-engage in those fights and really get back into it and get aggressive because I just, I'm just that person I just cannot sit still and I do not want to just sit there and wait on somebody to come around the corner. I really want to get into the middle of the fight, rush them, push them as much as I can and, and dominate as fast as I can. So that's what I tend to do. And when I'm running drone squad here, I really like this drone squad since they actually buffed it where it actually can go longer burst and it takes time, less time to cool down so it can go back into burst again. So I really use that to keep people from flanking on me whenever I'm trying to come around, peek a corner or whatever. I don't, I know that my drone squad can kind of help me out and protect me. So I like to run it. I tried to run Thresher. I really don't like Thresher. It still does not give me a lot of kills. I'm going to change that over to uh, Sniper's Nest or um, Strike Team, Attack Chopper. But I don't know. They, they, did, they really just screwed the game over with Zero because you can just dominate your score streaks after you grind them. So, I mean, I'm, I really don't even like pushing for score streaks a whole lot. I mean, it's not a big deal. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. I just try to go for a good high KD. And... Another thing what you want to look out for is, is whenever you're going on a streak sometimes, you want to hold steady and, and wait on your teammates to spawn and check out these spawns. Okay, so if all my team's on the other side of the map and nobody's spawning behind me, I know I need to turn around and check the other side because I'm going to get flanked on. Okay, or if you're probably one off or ten off from streaks, 
either try to use somebody, I know it's bad to say, but use somebody as a dummy because if you're running behind them, just stay about a, you know, just a little short distance from them. So when they cut that corner, if somebody's shooting at them, you can third party them and do a 2v1. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna win that fight unless they already have people backing them as well. But a lot of times, more times than none, you can go ahead and secure yourself that, you know, extra kill right there to get you on your streak or whatever it is you're going for. Uh, I try to tend to use a lot of people as dummies. And I mean, it, <laughs> it is what it is. And I think right here at half, I'm like 17 and 0. And this is my first time I actually looked at my KD and I'm like, oh man, I really can, I can do something, man. I'm 17 and 0, I've been kind of playing slow. It's time to play a little aggressive. So I believe on the second round right here, you're gonna see me actually play a little more aggressive, really run my streaks and really try to push, see if I can get this nuclear. But little did I know, it was already too late in the game to actually secure that nuclear, man. I was kind of upset, but I was kind of glad I got a 30 and 0 game here. I ended up with zero deaths. And it was it was really disappointing, man. It really hurt you, boy. And also, uh, guys, if you are not already, you can follow me on Instagram. I tend to post all my thumbnails over there and tend to post little short clips when I go on live to let you know I'm live. If you're not one of the freaking people that don't have the bell on for notifications, what are you doing? Okay? But yeah, as you see right here, man, I'm playing really, really aggressive. I'm waiting on these guys. I'm looking at my marks. They got a spot out. I got my... I got my bag here, just trying to wait on people to come up and try to grab and secure. I know they got the smoke out. I said, okay, they're fixing me pushing through this. So I'm waiting on them. I mean, just sitting there letting people get my assault pack to get me more streaks to get closer on my streaks. And I, also one thing you want to look for is, is you want to make sure that you're in those good positions to actually win a gunfight. You don't want to try to be way out in the open, running out in the open and try to kill somebody. You want to make sure you got some protection in front of you whenever you're really trying to jump on some of these kills because the more protection you have, the better you are on winning the gunfight. Because if they can only shoot you from uh, your shoulders up and get a headshot, you're a harder target to shoot from than you're sitting out there like a sitting duck and just wide open when they got protection. So, And also what I try to do is, is on that right side right there, I try to hug that wall because usually when they come running around that corner, they're gonna swing wide. And when they swing wide, I'm already waiting on them. They're not gonna hug that, that corner pretty tight. They're gonna come out wide looking around trying to peek peek on around the corner. So when they peek around them corners, man, it's a guaranteed kill. Another thing you wanna do is, I don't know if I mentioned it, you wanna center your crosshairs. Always have those white marks in the middle of your screen. Always have them pointed to where suspects are, where you might see somebody and you might get a kill. Because you, the faster you can aim down sight and get them, the better you're going to be. And also, guys, do this 2X scope, man. This 2X scope here, I don't know what it is about it, it will absolutely dominate. It may take a second to get used to the zoom, but once you get used to that zoom in, it is, I mean, zero recoil almost, and you can just get in on targets and actually focus on holding. And it, to me, I just get a better KD with the zoom, the 2X scope on there, so I'm gonna be rocking a whole lot on my AR, so check that out. But for me, man, that 2X is where it's at. And being able to play Blackout a lot, I've kind of got used to it, so just run in your multiplayer maps and get used to it and, and really, really strive on getting better with it because like I said it has no recoil and you can actually beam across the map and it will help you in the long run on your KD as well. But back to it again, you always want to make sure you're centered everywhere you go when you're turning a corner, whether you're sliding down steps, know in the map where you are, if you're going up steps and you jump, know how to just try to pop on them spots. The quicker you can pop on them spots when you come up, say when you're right here and you're coming around that corner, you want to pop on them crates. The quicker you can you can pop it, the faster you are to react. So people that do not have that reaction time, man, you're going to win those gunfights hands down. So that's one main key. But man, I'm telling you, that, that mini map is where it's at. It has helped me a ton. And also, do not over aggressively fight a fight. If you can, back out of it. Once you pop a couple shots in and y'all just sitting there tagging, boom, 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 boom. You're missing a few shots, he's missing a few shots. Go ahead, back out, try to reposition yourself, heal up and re-engage and try to get the dominant position on that guy coming. So don't try to over chow. I know a lot of times I had a lot of problems when I was over chowing. So do not over chow. And also try to keep places where you can strife back and forth and get you back in protection. And if they're out there, like a lot of times you see in here, the guys are out there like sitting ducks, I can zoom in and zoom out behind stuff and get take cover and come back and re-engage and a lot of times I have a 
teammate come up beside me, like this guy up here, he's watching my back up there. You know, so if I'm engaging, he's gonna help me engage and nine times out of 10, one of us is gonna get the kill or and one of us is gonna get the EKIA and still it's gonna get you your streaks up and you're gonna go on. And I mean, man, I'm just telling you guys, try these tactics and they'll make you a whole lot better. And if you're not following me on Twitter, Go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. Check me out there. I tend to post things on there. But, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let you all enjoy the rest of this here, man. Y'all hope you all have a fantastic day. Come check me out, man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. And let me know you stopped by and checked out the video. I made this far, man. I might throw in something for a surprise for you. To one lucky subscriber, man. Check me out, man. I got to get out of here. Time to go grind and shine and stream, baby. I'm out. Peace.